It's the trial of the century, the main event, game day, fight night, the showdown, the big kahuna, the song of the summer, the trial of the century. I meet with our city's crusading district attorney as he flips his lucky three-sided coin. We're gonna take down the corrupt mayor once and for all with my partner Blanche, my roommate Steve, and our newspaper friend Cam. She's covering it all for Cam Quarter's court reporter corner. Order, says the judge. Before we begin, she demands a recap because she has no idea what's going on. So we spin her a yarn. A mayor manipulates his way to power. There are dangerous vigilantes, a daring prison break, a trip I took with Steve to the Grand Canyon. We figure out that the mayor is just the tip of a massive conspiracy. We're gonna start pulling that thread and unravel the whole darn ball of yarn. You could say it's the trial of the century. And then the mayor's lawyer shows up. A face I haven't seen in a long time. My mirror image. My twin brother. Ron. I've got a mustache. He's got a beard. I've got a comb over. He's got a comb under. When I grew up, I became a detective. And when he grew up, he became a scuba diver. But then he quit and became a criminal lawyer after that. We're on opposite sides, but we're still so similar. It's like we finish each other's. The judge announces that court is now in session. The court jester leaves, and we begin. First, the jury takes their seats. Ron grins at me. The mayor is entitled to a jury of his peers, so here they are. Gee, I wonder whose side they're on. Oh, brother. There are opening statements, middling statements, objections, overrulings, sustained innings, evidence presented, witnesses called to stands. The DA asks the mayor to identify his criminal associates in the room. Unfortunately, he can't. If only they were standing on the other side. Or if only we had some magical drugs that could cure blindness, but I obviously don't have a secret stash of those. This is not going well. Recording disaster. It appears his peers will put him in the clear, just as I feared. Oh dear, the trial of the century. The jury goes to deliberate, and the judge declares a recess, so I meet Ron outside. I ask how he's mixed up in all this. I know we've never seen eye to eye, but whoever or whomever hired him is real bad news. If he ends up in danger, I won't be able to defend him. He scoffs. Reminds me that the last time we saw each other, he was defending me. Well, actually, we were both at Cousin Becky's baby shower last May, but that doesn't really count. Suddenly, there's a kerfuffle in the court. Ron and I rush back in. All of the jurors were murdered. Looks like our unfriendly neighborhood vigilante got tired of the court proceedings and proceeded to take matters into his own hands. This sentencing is a run-on sentence. The court is back in session. Ron argues that the mayor is innocent until proven guilty, so we have to release him until these corpses can make a decision. Ball's back in our court. The mayor goes free. But hang on, there's a loophole. This is a hung jury. That's good news. The trial isn't over yet. It's just a little gallows. Not true. These jurors are dead and the mayor's alive, so this is no longer a jury of his peers. They need to be replaced. We get lucky. The new batch of jurors are angry citizens who hate the mayor. This guilty verdict should be a slam dunk. A grand slam. A trial of the century. Assuming, of course, that the conspiracy doesn't kill them all and replace them with a new jury of patsies. Then the conspiracy kills them all and replaces them with a new jury of patsies. Then the vigilante kills all of them. And on and on. I meet with Blanche and the DA. How many more people have to die? How much more blood has to be spilled? The trial of the century? We consider our options. Have faith in the justice system and trust that the mayor will be convicted? Let him go because uncovering the conspiracy is more important than defeating one man. Or kill him, blame the vigilante, and end all of this right now. Law, truth, revenge, the trial of the century. The DA says there's only one thing to do. Let the fates decide. He takes out his three-sided coin, flips it, and... Oh, and it landed on Tails, so we killed him.